Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Biology for All. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Miller's experiment. Before talking about the Miller's experiment, let me give some background information about it. Scientists have proposed numerous theories about the origin of life on Earth. Some believed that life came from outer space, whereas some Greek thinkers suggested that units of life called spores were transferred to the different planets, including Earth. Some astronomers believe in the theory of panspermia, that is, life existed throughout the universe in the form of space dust, meteoroids, asteroids, etc. Then came the theory of spontaneous generation. This theory suggested that life arose from decaying and rotting matter like straw, mud, etc. Then, experimentally, Louis Pasteur showed that life arose from pre-existing life. Finally, it was a theory of abiogenesis proposed by Oparin and Haldane that was based on chemical evolution of life. This theory talked about the origin of the first life forms from non-living organic molecules like RNA and proteins. These gave rise to the first cells which are also called as protobionts. Experimental proof of the chemical evolution of life was given by Stanley Miller. In 1953, Stanley Miller, an American scientist, created a setup that mimicked the conditions of primitive earth. This setup consisted of an oceanic chamber that had boiling water. The vapors from the boiling water passed through the tubes into an atmospheric chamber. This chamber had gases, methane, ammonia, hydrogen and water vapor. This was kept at around 800 degrees Celsius. He also inserted electrodes for electric discharge that signified lightning. A condenser was placed below the atmospheric chamber to cool the water droplets coming down from it. This setup was run for several days and finally when he extracted the liquid he observed that there were amino acids present in it. Similar experiments were also conducted by other scientists who observed the presence of sugars, nitrogenous bases, pigments and fats. With all these results, the theory of chemical evolution was more or less accepted. 